Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you what is a function, how to use a function, and why we use function in Python. So first of all, what is a function? So let's see what is a definition of function. A function is a group of statement that together performs a specific task. So basically, we write a function to do a particular task again and again without rewriting the same code again and again. And functions make your code readable and, you know, uh, maintainable. Maintainable means uh, if you want to, uh, you know, change uh, something in your code, by writing functions, it's uh, easy to maintain your code. Okay, so always remember, whenever you want to write a specific uh, logic or code again and again or more than once, use a function instead. Okay, so let's see how we can define a function. So in Python, you can define a function like this. You need to use a, a keyword which is def and then uh, you give a space and give a function name and then in the brackets you give uh, something called arguments. Okay, so whatever you give in the brackets, these are called arguments. And there is no limits to arguments. Arguments, uh, you can define any number of arguments which you want to pass to a function. And then a semicolon. And then comes the statements. Statements are the piece of code which you write inside a function. Now suppose I want to make a function to print a hello to some name. So Either I can do print as we have been seeing that I can use print and I can say hello, hello and the name. For example, I want to say hello mark, right? So and I can print it. But for example, I have 25 names or 100 names which I want to say hello. And I would don't want to rewrite this print again and again. By the way, this print is also a function. And we are passing the string as an argument to this print. But print is a built-in function, which I have shown you in the previous video, what are built-in function and how to use built-in function. Now let's make our function. And what function we define are called user-defined function. So we will define a function, for example, call, we will call our function def and then name, our name of our function will be hello, for example. Okay, and what we are going to do, we are going to pass a variable. So you can name your variable or any name, you can give any name to your variable. For example, name or uh, x or y or whatever you want to give an argument you can name your argument uh, depend of, depending upon your wish so uh, I will name my argument as name because it's more logical because I want to print name right and then I give this colon okay now after this colon inside the function we write statement so what we want to do we want to print hello and the name whatever we pass in a function right so we will say hello and print and then we pass this argument whatever argument will you will pass we will pass this argument to the print function and then what we want that uh, we want to print hello and whatever name we will pass okay now i will just uh, run this function or how we can use this function so function is defined now okay now how we can use this function we can can just call this function hello and then 
we can pass a name which is a string right so we want to pass a function which takes a string okay so for example i say mark okay and i press enter and it says hello mark okay and once again i can just once again called hello and this time i pass a different name for example john and it says hello john and in a similar way you can pass any name it will print other names also so what this function has done for us it makes our code really uh, you know readable because we are not rewriting this uh, piece of code which is print for example suppose you want to uh, perform uh, you know 10 or 20 line of code in one go and this these 20 line of code perform a particular logic and you don't want to you know write, rewrite these 20 line of code again and again so you can use a function instead to enclose these 20 line of code and then you can use this function so that you don't have to write these 20 line of code again 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 and again you can just call a function by its name if it takes a, an argument you can pass the argument and then it will give you the result right now it's not necessary that you always has to pass any argument you can define a function without any argument also right so always remember a function can have zero argument or any number of arguments minimum is zero or no argument and maximum is depending upon you okay now uh there is a you know, and one more thing i want to say here is function don't uh, take only strings they can take numbers so let's uh, make a little bit useful function to add two numbers so i will just define a function by def and i will uh, name my function as add function okay and this will take two argument for example x and y so i will just separate my arguments by a comma and then i will give a give this colon here and then i want to print the result okay so what i can say is i can return and return means giving the answer okay simply giving the answer and what i want to re return i want to return the addition of x plus y okay and now i will press enter two times that means my function is defined now i can use this function to add two values so i will call this function add and i want to add for example 100 and 500 okay and what will what this will do it will add 100 and 500 and it will return the answer so if when it returns the answer you can save your answer in some other variables for example i can define a variable called sum and i can save this sum in this variable okay so for example i define a variable called sum1 is equal to add 100 comma 500 and i can press enter now my sum is in my sum1 variable so i can print my sum1 like this sum1 and it gives 600 so what this uh, function has do done for us add function it has taken x and y so x is assigned or 100 is assigned to x and 500 is assigned to y and then it adds the value of x and y which is 100 plus 500 and it gives the result return the result and when a function return any result you can save it into another variable okay so it has saved uh, this result into the sum variable and it returns and same thing you can do again and again 
So for example, you want to add some other numbers, for example, 234 and 333. You can do it like this and you can call sum2 and give, will give you the result. Okay. So in this way, you can use functions in Python. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.